Hey there folks, I just wanted to spend a few minutes to show you how to create a um, another instance or environment, however you want to call it, of a project for the web uh, solution. And so if you notice, it's, this capability was just recently introduced. Um, and uh, I just want to run through that process to make sure folks understand it. It's, it's probably not as clear as pro could be. So let's go ahead and do that. First thing we need to do is uh, log into admin.powerplatform.com. So let's do that. And there we go. So now we see the, the current environments that we have in this particular Power Platform uh, area. So what I'm going to do is click new here and I'm just going to call this. And you know, because I'm going to have a few environments in here, I'm going to just append a number to it there. I do want it to be a sandbox. As you see, you can have um, sandbox and production in this case. Uh, leave the region US default. The thing I want to pay t particular attention to here is uh, I don't want to create a database. Oh, I'm sorry. The thing I want to pay particular attention to is I do want to create a database for this environment. And upon selecting that, click next. Language is going to be English. What do I want the, the URL to be? You know, I can just call it project for the web and then 101 and then it'll be .crm.dynamics.com. We'll leave it in USD uh, D here. I, I don't want to select enable Dynamics 365 apps here. So make sure you don't select that. Uh, and with that said, we'll go ahead and click save. And this little dialogue on the right will go ahead and disappear. And then what you'll see is you'll see in the environments, it refreshes project for the web 01. Uh, 101 was created and now it's preparing the instance and this might take a few minutes here so we'll just wait till this gets done all right so it looks like the um, instance has been created let's go ahead and select it and now what we need to do is go into the resources for this and select on amx 365 apps because we do need to enable uh, excuse me rather um, install an app here and in order to install that app we just click this install app button here and then you'll see the available apps to the right what we want to do is look for Microsoft Project Server Core. Go ahead and select that and click Next. And just select Agree to the Terms of Service. And then since I'm already in the Project for the Web instance here, it's going to install it to this particular instance. There are other ways to install it as well, and then you have to select the instance second, but uh, this will do it directly. So we'll see this refresh, then you'll see the service core here, and then it's going to be installing. And this process actually takes quite a bit of time, you know, probably upwards of 10 or 15 minutes, maybe even longer than that. I'm really not sure, but uh, we'll, we'll just go ahead and uh, let this take its course, and then we'll go ahead and... Re hey there, folks. Uh, so it, it actually took about 40 minutes or so for the product service core to complete, which was uh, yeah, quite a bit of time. Now what we need to do is actually uh, sign the users who are going to use the environment to a couple of roles within the system. I'm, I'm not going to assign a group at this time. I'm just going to keep it simple and assign the user that I'm currently logged in with. And this is actually a you know, necessary configuration step. So let's go back to the environment. I'll just click on the environment name in the breadcrumbs here. And then what I want to do is click on settings, which will open up some of the settings for this particular environment. And there we go. And then what I want to do is access users and permissions right here. So I'll click on this drop down. And what I want to do is again, I want to manage roles for a specific user. Therefore, I'll go ahead and click on user. And there's the user that I'm currently logged in with. I'll go ahead and select the user and this will launch another window. And from there, we'll be able to manage the roles for that user account. And there we are. Now we're into the um, settings for the user account. What we want to do is locate manage roles right up here. We'll go ahead and click on that. And this brings up the roles that we can actually assign to this particular user account. What we want to do is find the project and we're going to assign project common and project user as the two roles that we want to assign here. And this will uh, go ahead and allow this user to be able to access what we need to within this project for the web environment. We'll click OK. And the process will take place and assign the roles. And now what we can do is go back to our environment here. And let's go ahead and click on environment. And there we are, now we're back at the environment. So what we want to do is open it. So we'll click on open environment here. And this should bring up some tiles. And one of the tiles should be project. And there it is, you can see it. So project and resource scheduling are the two that you use together for a project um, for the web. If we go ahead and click directly on this tile, 
it should launch our project for the web environment. And there it is. So we have no projects currently, but um, you know, those that are familiar with it, you know, you click on new project and add a project here. And of course there's the resource area as well. Therefore we can continue to, or actually start to uh, add resources here and create bookings and so forth. And um, yeah, there you have it. The process is you're pretty straightforward. Uh, again, wanted to document it to help people out, figure out how to do this. Uh, we'll go ahead and provide a link to, you know, where this the uh, really short procedure is actually written within the Microsoft documentation. Hope it helps you folks. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, feel free to contact us. Look forward to hearing back. Thanks very much and have a great afternoon.